Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am finally bringing you a favorites video. It's been a while since I have officially sat down with you guys and talked about all the favorite things that I have been loving recently. And since I just got back from a vacation and Canada Day is officially tomorrow, which signifies the start of summer for us here in Canada, I thought I would sit down and share with you all the products I have been loving over the past couple of months. So let's just talk about my hair for a second because I know you guys are going to ask. I did get my hair done on Tuesday of this week and I had my hairdresser tone it down to a more neutral, ashy, blonde shade. And honestly guys, I am obsessed. I'm so in love with this hair color. I feel more comfortable in this shade and I feel like it's not so like bright yellow Barbie blonde in your face. But let's jump into all my favorites. So for my favorites videos, if you are new to my channel and you do not know, I do like to start off talking about my favorite experiences that have happened to me over the past couple of months. So my first favorite experience would definitely have to be my engagement party that happened in May. We rented a hall and had our families come together so they can all meet each other with a big kind of backyard barbecue style potluck something. I don't really know what to call it, but we just had this big giant engagement party. I wore a white dress from Lulu's, which I will insert a picture of here for you guys. And I had a floral crown made for me out of baby's breath, which is hanging right here, all dried and pretty. It's just way too pretty for me to throw away. Like I just, I can't, I can't do it. I refuse to do it. Is anybody else out there like me or they like to like hoard little things like this. So I had my engagement party, we had our families come together, we played a few games, took a bunch of pictures, and celebrated the union of my fiance and I. And my second favorite experience would have to be going on vacation with my fiance. We spent a week in Cabo, Mexico. Obviously you guys already know if you are a current subscriber, you've seen my Cabo lookbook slash travel diary. If you haven't, I will have that linked somewhere in here, so be sure to check that out. But yeah, we just had the most beautiful week in Cabo, Mexico. The sunshine and the sunsets and the weather was just fantastic. I was a little sad that we couldn't swim in the ocean, though I tried to, and as you guys could see in the bloopers. Yeah, I tried to swim in the ocean and the ocean just kept knocking me around. The water was so rough. I am not used to that whatsoever. But other than that, Cabo was beautiful. And for my third favorite experience, the week before I left for Cabo, I actually took a trip to Cincinnati with Procter & Gamble, which is P&G. They own Olay, Pantene, Venus, a whole bunch of other brands that you usually see in a drugstore. This trip I learned so much about skin, about my hair, about the ingredients that are in products and why those ingredients are put into products. I can go into more detail about what I've learned over the trip but that would take forever and I really just don't want this to be a long favorites video because it's Canada Day long weekend. Like let's get this over with so you guys can go out and enjoy your long weekend. Okay so moving on to my favorite products. I'm going to start off with skincare and again I'm gonna refer back to my Procter and Gamble trip. So during that trip I actually did a skin scan for one side of my face where it told me how many pores I have, how much UV damage I've done because I very rarely wear sunscreen. After doing my skin scan with Procter & Gamble, I actually learned that 95% of my wrinkles are located around my eye area. Ever since learning that, I have been doing a lot of research into products where I can help plump those areas, increase collagen, and kind of smooth out the fine lines and wrinkles because I'm 27 years old. Like This is when you start taking preventative measures to protect your skin so that you look young for the rest of your life. And honestly, my grandmother is 73 and she looks amazing for a 73 year old. Like I'll insert a picture of her here. She's just so wonderfully beautiful. It's ridiculous. So I always tell myself that if I look like my grandmother at 73, then I've done something right in my life. And she always tells me, ever since I was a little girl, she's like, moisturize, drink water, take care of yourself. Because 
this is all you got for the rest of your life, no matter what. I've recently stumbled across the Biofirm Aquasource Ever Plump Moisturizers, and though I am very basic when it comes to cleansers and makeup removers that I use, I'm very particular about my moisturizers. I have this like pet peeve where I hate when my skin feels dry, and if it feels dry after I apply a moisturizer, that moisturizer is gone. Like I'm literally tossing it in the garbage because I don't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. So I recently received the Biotherm Aquasers Night Cream and the Ever Plump Day Cream, and I have been so in love with these two products. Okay, so the Ever Plump Biotherm Moisturizing Day Cream is said to help hydrate, plump, and reduce fine lines all over your face. So in the morning, I will wake up, I wash my face, and then I apply this cream all over. So this is the packaging, so pretty. So I just take a little bit at a time. As you can see, like I rub it in on my hand and like look at the difference, look at that natural sheen and like glowy that it gives to my hand and like you can see the difference between hydrated skin and dry AF skin. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing, and it's very light. It doesn't feel too heavy. So the next item is the Biotherm Aquasource Night Cream. So this actually acts like a mask. It's a very thick blue gel and it's made out of like dark algae so it takes about five to ten minutes for it to fully absorb into your skin so you're just supposed to apply it leave it on your skin for five to ten minutes and then after that you kind of just pat the excess into your skin and leave it in overnight and this is actually going to help reduce the fine lines it's going to plump up areas that are lacking in collagen and help reduce the wrinkles that you may see in any areas and again look at that look how hydrated my skin looks and it's fantastic so moving on to my next item I'm going to talk about hair again referring back to my Procter & Gamble trip we met with one of their leading scientists and I literally sat down to her and I was like woman to woman curly girl to curly girl help me what am I missing what am I not doing that I should be doing to my hair because I've been doing weekly deep conditioning treatments I try to use products that are sulfate or paraben free on my hair and I only apply heat once a week I try to be as careful as I possibly can and I do all of these things to take care of my hair I switched up my diet incorporate protein and do all of these things but my hair is really dry and it's really brittle and obviously I do color my hair regularly all the time it's actually an addiction it's a problem I know I should fix it I, I'm working on it and she literally looked at my hair and she was like you need moisture and I was like what do you mean I need moisture don't I need protein or something because I do moisturizing treatments all the time and nothing's happening and she's like no you're doing moisturizing treatments but the products that I have been using aren't actually absorbing into the hair they kind of just sit on top of your head and that's what gives you that shiny smooth look or feeling it's very good at masking healthy hair but it's not good at actually helping and preventing and restoring your hair so she actually recommended the gold series Pantene line. A lot of my curly girls out there know it is so difficult to find products that actually really work for our hair. And I've tried thousands, thousands of different products and thousands of different brands and I swear to you, every single one that I've tried has been okay, better than the last one I've tried, but there has been nothing that I've actually applied to my hair and I was like, wow this is this actually feels like it's working I can feel my hair absorbing the product I can feel it smoothing it I can feel it hydrating it unfortunately this line of hair care products cannot be purchased in Canada because I just haven't brought it here yet but it can be purchased in the US so if you are a US subscriber I definitely suggest checking these items out they sent me the co-wash the shampoo the conditioner a hair mask and the hydrating cream the curl pudding and I believe the hydrating oil and I have been using those religiously for the past three weeks that I'm literally starting to run out of certain products like this is the package that the hair care mask comes in and this is uh, how much I have left nothing it's literally empty after two weeks of using it because it is just that good a lot of you guys have noticed it too I've been commenting on my photos from my trip where I've been posting photos of my curly hair after using these products and you guys are like wow Ashley like your curls look fantastic they look like they're getting better oh my gosh what are you doing and so 
this is literally what I've been doing. So moving on from hair, I actually have some makeup products that I would like to talk about. I recently attended an event, an event with Maybelline in Toronto where they took us to a spin class and they were marketing the idea that these matte Superstay lipsticks could last throughout an entire sweat session in one of the hardest spin classes you will ever take in your life. And I was like, yeah, okay, they all say that. All matte lipsticks are super staying and super lasting and then as soon as I drink water, I have a butthole lip because it's completely come off, like, ridiculous. I went and I tried out Lover, which is like this very nude berry color, which I absolutely love. I think it's like amazing. And I applied it and I went through the spin class session and this liquid lipstick literally lasted throughout the entire spin class session. And I went home, I had a full meal, drank some more water, and this was still on. And then went and took a shower, washed my face, and again, this was still on. And I was like, okay, what the heck is going on? Never in my life have I ever put on a liquid lipstick that has lasted through all of that. And that makes me really excited, especially for bold colors like reds or like really deep burgundy colors. And my fiance, the wonderful soul that he is, he refuses to kiss me if he sees that I'm wearing lipstick. Like, absolutely refuses. So it kind of created a bit of a dilemma for me for my wedding day, because I was like, okay, well, what if I want to wear lipstick on our wedding day? He literally looked at me and was like, I will kiss you at the che on your cheek at the altar, and that's it. I'm like, you're not kissing me on the cheek at the altar when you say I do. You will kiss me right here. And so, so put me on the hunt for the perfect liquid lipstick for my wedding day and I'm so happy that Maybelline invited me to this event. I can finally say that I have found the perfect liquid lipstick for my wedding day. I'm going to do some quick swatches for you guys so you can see the colors. I don't think I have all the colors because I believe I got rid of a few that I wouldn't wear. So like the very bold violety purple colors they're not really my style so I usually just like give those colors away but we are going to start from lightest to darkest in the ones that I do have starting off with the first one which is a loyalist the second one is dreamer the third one is lover the fourth one is romantic the fifth one is pioneer the sixth one is Heroine, and the seventh one is Voyager, and the last one is Believer. So here are the eight shades that I have. I'm gonna let that dry so I can show you how lasting it is and that it legit does not smudge when I rub it. And as we're letting that dry, I'm going to move on to clothes because I mean, I know I just did a fashion haul, but again, I shop so much, it's actually a problem. So I picked up a few items from Fashion Nova and I've been getting a ton of compliments from you guys from these items, so I thought I would include it in this video. So the first item is this denim skirt and it is a distressed denim skirt. It is a little small, so I'm kind of thinking of exchanging it and going to for a size up. I got a small in this skirt, and it's just way too tight around the butt area, though it fits my waist perfectly. It's just too tight in the butt for me. It literally gives me a pancake butt. So I plan on exchanging this for a medium size just so it fits a little bit better. But yeah, so this is the denim skirt. Again, denim skirts are huge, and they are definitely in style this summer. So this is the back of the denim skirt and I just like this denim skirt so much more than the ones that I do have because it's more of a, it's meant to be more of a looser fit. The second item that I got from Fashion Nova is this sweater. Now I've been seeing the sweater everywhere since last fall and I have been so obsessed with it. It's just this plain knitted sweater with a the little knot in the back. It's off shoulder so it sits really cutely and you can still wear a bra with this like you don't have to go braless in the sweater because the knot is thick enough to cover the bra strap. So this is the sweater that I picked up obviously in a cream or a neutral color because everything I own is pretty much a neutral <laughs> shade of some sort. And the next item I wore it to Gen Beauty on the Saturday. So it's just a an off-shoulder button-up blue and white striped shirt. You can tie it up in the bottom if you'd like to or you can leave it unbuttoned with half tucked in which is kind of what I did. I kind of like unbuttoned the bottom and tucked one half in and let the other half out. I 
love, 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 love this item and I'm sure I'll be wearing it a lot this summer. Okay, so back to my lip swatches that I have going on here. They're still not fully dry, but as you guys can see, like I'm touching all of them and there is nothing on my finger, like absolutely nothing. That's how good these lipsticks are. So I am so in love with these. Definitely get these if you have not. And my battery is going to die, so I'm gonna wrap this video up really quickly for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below which item interested you the most. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with me just before the long weekend. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful long weekend. Enjoy yourself. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye. Diamonds and nothing when I'm rocking with ya. Diamonds and nothing when I'm shining with ya. Just keep it white and black as if I'm your sister. I'm too hip to hop around, time to hit with ya.